Today is a celebration of love, of commitment, of friendship, of family, and of two people who are in it forever. We've all loved in our lifetimes, and in this moment, we're reminded that the ability to love is the very best part of humanity. All of us here today have our own love stories. Some are short, others long. Some are yet written, while others are just getting to the good part. There are chapters in all of our lives that are our stories that are sad or disappointing, and others are exciting and full of adventure. Alexa and Chad's story brings them here today. Love isn't happily ever after. Love is writing your own story. It's not one moment, not even this moment, but every moment. Even though this moment, this marriage, is incredible, words fail us when we try to explain it. Just like love, it's meant to be felt, not described. At the time of Alexa's 30th birthday, I told her the best is yet to come. Since then, she has made a life with Chad and given life to an incredible, precious boy. And I have never been more proud of her as I was the night that she brought Hayden into this world. I have silently watched in awe as she has become an incredible mother. Her loyalty, her selflessness, and her nurturing soul will translate well into her role as a wife to Chad as they start the next chapter in their lives together. I wish Alexa and Chad a lifetime of joy, love, and happiness surrounded by family and friends who love them dearly. The best is still yet to come. After a long night of drinking, I remember Alexa getting in my face and we were arguing about something. I have no idea what it was about, but after a long pause, I remember telling her straight to her face, you are really intimidating and I'm a little bit scared, so I'm gonna go over here and sit in the corner. <laughs> it was at that moment that I realized that she was the perfect woman for Chad. I know that Chad has been looking for that special someone to spend the rest of his life with for a while now, and I'm extremely happy for him now that he has found Alexa. Congratulations to the new Wake Company. He's not perfect. You aren't either. And the two of you will never be perfect. But if he can make you laugh at least once, causes you to think twice, if he admits to being human and making mistakes, hold on to him and give, you, give him the most you can. He isn't going to quote poetry. He isn't thinking about you every moment but he will give you part of him that he knows you can bring. Don't hurt him, don't change him, and don't expect for more than he can give you. Don't analyze. Smile when he makes you happy, yell when he makes you mad, and miss him when he's not there. Love hard when love is to be had, because perfect guys don't exist, but there's always one guy that's perfect for you.